Russia has accused Ukraine of trying to assassinate President Vladimir Putin. Moscow says it downed two drones which targeted the Kremlin, but Kyiv has denied any involvement. Watch a grey disc speed in from the left and then an explosion right above the Kremlin. One of two drone attacks on Tuesday night, the Kremlin says. Here, a different view of an image for the history books. Moscow blames Kyiv, saying this was an assassination attempt on President Putin. Kyiv says it wasn't them. We don't attack Putin or Moscow. Uh, we fight on, on our territory. We are defending our villages and cities. President Putin was elsewhere and unscathed. But days before Russia's annual military parade, this suggests embarrassing security weaknesses. This will be the second Victory Day parade that Vladimir Putin has held since he sent troops into Ukraine. And 15 months in, there is not much in the way of victory to show for it, especially not since Russia's retreat from Kherson last November. Just a degree of nervous apprehension about what Ukraine's long promised counteroffensive might hold in store. Russians we spoke to were reluctant to believe that these drone strikes had even happened. I think it's all make believe. It couldn't have happened. We can't have that happening here. <laughs> I haven't heard this information. If there was such an attempt, it doesn't sound good. I hope there'll be a response. There have been a spate of strikes in Russian-occupied Crimea and Russia itself in recent weeks and months. Drone strikes on oil depots and airfields, freight trains derailed by suspected saboteurs, and of course the attack on the Kerch Bridge linking Russia with Crimea last October. The symbolism of flames above the Kremlin is on a similar scale. Whoever's responsible, it's not militarily very significant. There was a very small charge. It's not really blown up anything. It's not really done any damage. But symbolically, it's incredibly important. It's the heart of Russian power. It's the Kremlin. It's the fortress. This is a very powerful slap in the face for uh, President Putin. It'll be interesting to see what he does as a result. Fortress Russia on the defensive and gathering itself for a response.